Hi everyone. Have you got your Christmas shopping done? Are you even close? I was fortunate enough this year and I usually oh, hope that these things happen to where I throughout the year win you know prizes from places and I'm able to provide Christmas presents for my loved ones so that really 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 helps like creams for their face makeup supplies that I would never wear I know that they would enjoy perfumes mostly for the women or types of things you know and then i can provide gift cards for the rest and also have a little bit for myself to use during throughout the year when i need to and i don't know if i've ever told you on here There is something that I've got to tell you on here. Now I have my name Frugal Times for a reason. You know, it's not just, you know, smoke and what are all said use, smoke and lights. I don't know. But anyway, I got my Samsung phone for free free and it's a $400 phone that I got for free now the way that I did this is doing surveys and such on different survey sites and I need to put those on here at one point I think I did some of the videos on there some of the survey sites that I use let me see if I can find that video. And if I do find it, then I'll get it placed up above. Okay, for you. Anyway, if not, then I will have to make a dedicated video for that, but I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look. But anyway, I won enough gift cards for Target to get a free phone. $400 for a free phone. I did that. And I also earn up enough gift cards throughout the year to pay for that Amazon subscription, which is $150. One of the ways is I have my video of receipts where I save up my receipts for gift cards and I will put that video up above too I know that one is for sure that I did make that one that one was a video that I made recently so it's new and you can find it on here really easily yourself if you're going to you know search so but just saying that there is a lot of reasons why I have I use the name that I use for myself here is because I, I live it. Now we have a smart thermostat and before we got our new air conditioning unit we didn't have one and the gentleman who installed our air conditioning unit he suggested that we get a smart thermostat to help with saving on energy so we did that and it's connected to our phones. It's really convenient. 
So when you need to look at the temperature in the house, see what it's at, you don't have to walk to the actual gauge in your house. You can see it anywhere, anytime. As long as you have internet access outside the home too, you can see what it, what degrees it is in your house and you can turn it off and on and it's really, really convenient. So, and it wasn't much extra than the, our regular thermostat. It really wasn't, you know, compared to the convenience of it also, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it to have it. Plus also the savings every month on your bill as you know, you go. So, yeah. It's time to get the clothes into the dryer. Today is wash day. Oh, plus I wanted to show you what I do. We've got this type of washer where it's, you know, got the door on the not the top loader but the front loader so i take it and i do this come see you're gonna get water see here in this reservoir you see this is clean i take a sock that was just cleaned and i take and get the water like that out of the reservoir see how much water that got so I'll even show you again. We'll go a second time in there and then see how much more it gets. See, it gets that water out of there. So it's not staying stuck in there. You can see a little bit more, even water right there, which you can even tell in the screen. You see that? And then I just take the socks like that that keep on coming out of the washer and just take and keep on as I grab out like another sock like there's another sock you know I'll take this and this will get tossed into the dryer and then the next one I'll take out and this one won't this one won't get as much water on it obviously but I keep that doing that so that it doesn't see it didn't get as much water at all but I make sure that I get all that water out of there and then this is just for me just for purposes of making it look nice just because I'm I'm anal that way I clean this off and that I clean that off just the the extra water residual on there so that's just me keeping all that clean and looking nice and fresh and if you keep things like that then they stay looking nice see they stay looking nice and then you don't have to worry too much about always the extra upkeep of them I was thinking of a lady that on Instagram I followed and she had some misfortune happen to her. She had trauma in her childhood like me, but some incidents happened recently to her where her house burnt down to the ground and she had where she had some injuries to her back from the fire and you couldn't tell but everything really was hard on her she has you know her husband and her 
two children at home, another daughter who lives a house just up from where they lived and everybody surrounding her, everybody there for her. But yet she felt like she was trying to end her life and she did try to and right now she is in uh, a place that's helping her out she'll be there for a month and I was just thinking about that situation that if you think that you don't want to bother somebody that you could this is how I felt about her I was thinking oh you know what I could message her about that but I don't want to bother don't ever think that you're bothering someone by just messaging them by just showing that you care that is showing that you are thinking of them and that you do care by messaging them not by staying away by saying oh, I don't want to bother them bother them okay go out and bother go out today and bother somebody I'm just gonna say it like that okay I don't care who it is neighbor friend go and that you know what that is going to be my mantra from now on. Go out and bother someone. Flat out, that's it's it's the truth, and it says it all. Thank you for joining me today, and if you wondered. My shirt, it does say guns and, and roses. And I am, I am truly a guns and roses fan. Just FYI. Bye everyone.